Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 I believe uh, and uh, today it's just going to be a brainstorming session. I knew, I know I said that that would be the uh, project for today but I was walking around doing some things and I just realized we need to brainstorm everything. This right here is the Christmas tree that I'm making for this month and this big pan uh, plateau, I guess uh, it would be called, is going to be Holiday Hill. It's just, I'm going to make every different holiday, all the major ones anyway, not all these fake Twitter holidays like Cookie Day or uh, any of these other stupid, stupid ones, but like the big holidays like Christmas, um, 4th of July, we'll set off a fireworks show or something um, and do that. Because, well, I mean, we need to be get a little bit festive up in here. Um, so that's going to be Holiday Hill. This is a Christmas tree. It's kind of looking a bit, um, a bit rough. But I need to make up a few signs for the episode. Where is all of my stuff? Is this cooked? I'll take a little bit more of that. And, um, torches, I guess we can light up a few of these. All right. Now I just got to go get some stuff. So we're going to go around just this general area and kind of plan out certain projects that we can do and then put down a quick little mental note that isn't quite just mental, um, a nice physical note stating okay this is what we're gonna do here this is what we're gonna do there get out of here creeper nobody likes you you get out of here too I don't like you either get get, get out of here stupid mobs all up in the way but do we have any wood in here there we go wood wood and a little bit more wood are we safe craft here for a second. Let's do this. And um the B and the fear sign. There we go. And I think that should do just well enough. So of course we need to finish this, but we also need to decorate around it and just kind of let it be known that this is the festive celebratory area. So beautify holiday hill. A beautify holiday holiday hill and that'll be one of the first things that we need to do and then the other cut the, the other ones that I can fit on the top of my head, we gonna have to. Is it raining? It's not. Yes, it is raining. Let's go ahead and sleep to get rid of the rain, so we can go safely to one area that I think I've shown before, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if I've shown you guys um, my air my. Uh, the mobs, one of the mob spawners that I found, because I think I found two spider spawners and a, a zombie spawner. But um, of course, we need to. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it into an experience farm. We might have to um, for right now until we can get to the end. But I don't want to do the end because here in like two weeks we're gonna get that big old update. So I want to get ready to go to the end fight the new ender dragon with all the new stuff and get ourselves some elytra and all that good stuff so we might make this one here into an experience farm and then change it up to a just a, a string farm um, that we could use for wool but this is our little area we should probably light this up just a little bit more I don't know how I'm gonna do it um, but I know once I make it into an AFK farm, we will probably do the magma blocks underneath with the rail line underneath. So when I spawn, 
if they just spawn and die. Sounds like a decent plan. So right here, spider grinder. E. Spide spider grinder. Boom, spider grinder. Boom, all right. And of course we already know we need to pretty that up so we don't need to put a sign right there. We can just look at it and every time remind ourselves, wow, that looks ugly. Get, get in here, not in here, around, ow, around this corner is this big, uh, I wanna say valley not quite a canyon this would be the canyon that would be the valley I, I guess and I wanted to do something different with this uh, originally I wanted to put a storage silo there and then I was like okay well, we'll do the storage silo and a farm which I haven't touched that farm since I started doing my AFK fishing because I don't need to I get all the food that I really need from that um, but what I was thinking is if we have a pond on one of the sides over there then with this little cut out there if we we might have to move the house and I'm not a big fan of the house the more I look at it the more I dislike it so we might have to change that um, the more I look at the house the more I hate it um, so we will probably move it but inside the area that we've already kind of carved out we'll go back over with some of the different colors of clay and on top of here, we'll put like um, a big reservoir of water, and then it'll spill out into here, which will, um, in the big middle round here, we will have a um, just a nice lake in between, and then we'll make a small island in between, just like a nice, uh, a nice little island, and put a nice. Uh, get a really good tree design going down there and um, you make like a nice little secret hidden hit away island which sounds like a like a relatively good plan um, but I also was thinking the same thing over here so I don't know where we'd put our house and that's the only reason why we have this here is because the house maybe we could put the house in the middle of a lake maybe um, but if you follow this down here if we made a reservoir up here and we just followed it down there's like this beautiful natural kind of feel over here so if you have the water kind of flowing down here right into this big pond and we can make this like a dock area to where we can launch on and off to all the different areas that we will have eventually way out in the world and uh, kind of I kind of like that idea I even started, I was going to put a pond right here, and then I was like, meh, no pond. Um, but we'd have to cut chop and destroy this house all the way down, which wouldn't be too hard. It would just take a little bit. Um, of course, we'd have to move all this stuff. Let's, let's. Boom. Yay, yay. Efficient type. But of course, I've already made a way, a way more efficient, but way more expensive version of this. So um, that'll probably change too. So it doesn't really matter. But we do need to do the pond project or waterfall. So we'll do, we'll just take this down. Pond. into waterfall what? into waterfall and then I guess a nice place to put an island would be hmm right around here I guess if you put the island right here Hidden Island. Hidden.
Staten Island. And then, of course, there's these little canyon areas that droop off this way. Um, the only thing I could really think of was would be to kind of carve this away as if it kind of got eroded over time. Throw some gravel down and some a little, maybe some more dirt and stuff. But have the water kind of spill over and then have another tiny waterfall right over here leading into the ocean which would just allow us to have a passage um, from our house quickly down out into the oceans. Um, of course, we would have to um, do a little bit of digging and a whole lot of other stuff. We'll ha right over here, this, is, this, is, this will be a massive terraforming project because, uh, well, there's all these caves around here and we may or may not have some lushification going on around it, but um, yeah, so path to sea, I think this is, um, path to the sea, path to the sea, boom path to the sea which would be one and two and this will just give us a reminder and then we'll probably remember that we have to do both sides hopefully a lot of these are going to take a quite a bit of time to do but you know it's worth it in the long run now we would need a way to get from this island back that way so we would need a hidden passage that maybe it should come out right behind the waterfall that we'll have on the other side and what would be if we brought the water up to about this level or this level then we would need the cave to start like right around here somewhere let's just throw that down secret cave yep, that that's totally not how you spell secret secret cave and we'll tuck it behind the waterfall um, if we if we do the waterfall back there these are just kind of quick little mental notes to kind of get the brain juices flowing a little bit I really hate the way these look the path blocks the edges just are so disgusting in color I really don't like the edges <coughs> but yeah we'll have a secret tunnel that goes straight through here out to this side so that we can get through we'll keep the um, we will keep the um, Mesa mine shafts that we were creating which I haven't really touched since that episode but you know we'll, we'll, we'll get around to it um, these paths need to uh, we'll keep the the, the Mesa mine shafts but that'll just be a nice little quick exit and make it like a really natural looking cave throw so go throw a bit of glowstone behind some glass to kind of mask its presence um so that uh it's just like a nice cave that isn't going to kill us when we walk through it uh that's the most important part is that none of this can be stuff that kills us um but you know eh. And then, of course, something that I have not, I haven't even said hi to these villagers in a long time. <laughs> I haven't even noticed, I haven't even, like, acknowledged their presence. We need to do something with these villagers. Make them a proper village, or a villager breeder, maybe an iron farm, uh, something over here. So that uh, they feel loved, because right now I have them crammed into a single house. And it's, uh, I'm starting to feel kind of mean, cruel, uh, like a mean, cruel dictator, if you will. And I don't, I don't quite like that feeling. So, we're, of course, we need to go ahead and do something with villagers. Something with villagers. Boom. Just to give us a nice little mental note that we need to do something over here. Because, like, I haven't even touched these chests. What's inside these chests? 
Like, I don't even know. Nothing. I think I moved, like, everything away except the stuff that wasn't really important. Oh, I have potatoes? Totally didn't know I had potatoes. But we do need to do something over here because it's literally hasn't been touched since the first episode. I don't think I've done anything over here. Zero trading, which I probably should. I could probably find mending books and really good books, which leads me to my next thing. We need to get good gear. We need to, we need to start focusing on getting some good gear. I've been mining quite a bit, doing a couple of live streams here and there, and just going mining and hanging out with a few peeps um, whilst on stream. And we got ourselves enough material to go ahead and give ourselves some really good armor, but we don't have the levels, and I just haven't taken the time out. Um, so we need to get good gear. Boom. We need to get good gear. So, that, um, pretty much sums up the brainstorming that I wanted to do, is just get six or seven little things that we can go ahead and to kind of look, okay, hey, we need to work on this and work on them. I don't know, especially when it comes to this big part and the decorations could be an episode, maybe two. This will probably be all live stream stuff is getting good enchantments and stuff like that. Um, down here, this will be three or four episodes of terraforming and taking that ugly thing down and all that stuff. That whole thing over there, I don't know when the heck I'm going to touch villagers. Um, but, uh, we, we need to, we need to do something with the villagers at some point now. Um, and when it comes to the spider spawner, I don't know. I might just go ahead and build the, um, make it a, make it into a string farm. Um, specifically because I do a lot of AFKing right there anyway. So if we just lit everything up and lit a relatively good portion of underground out, which I think I've already gotten a good portion of it lit and spawn proof anyway, um, that could provide us with quite a bit of string, which I believe we can craft into wool if we go into the, um, the manual crafting. Uh, if we do the manual crafting option, because on console we have the automatic crafting which makes it to where we don't have to do anything. But I think, where's the wool? Oh no, we, we have it in automatic crafting anyway, but we can get the white wool. Now, ooh, 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 another thing that I wanted to do is right over yonder, not, back, right over yonder um, is a, what is it called? Flower forest biome? Let's sleep and head over there. Um, and I, I've collected a bunch of flowers from that area, but I do think that we need um, a proper little flower farm so that we can have flowers to kind of beauty things up as we go if we make like a lawn or something. But also so that we have the dyes that we need for coloring the stained clay and the wool as well. But also banners because we have banners now. Um, I keep forgetting about that, um, but I really, really need to get a good banner going um, that'll just kind of encompass this one area, and then, of course, we will, as we expand and go off into other areas and stuff, we will have different banners for the different areas. I think I lit that up already. Good. Ow. I really need to get better armor. <laughs> it's, it's almost dead. But the flower forest, I believe it spans like this whole mountain range right here. Because all up the mountain, I was able to find all the different flowers and stuff. But this whole area right here, and it stretches straight on back to the spruce forest, I do believe. Um, where we can just bone meal it and get a bunch of different colors of flowers. Yeah, you can see that I didn't quite do a very good job on getting all of them, but... You can see where everything is at. So, 
we need to go ahead and get that done. That will probably have to wait until I'm really trying to find a um, skeleton spawner that's closer. We I have found two others, but they're like a map and a half. One's a map and a half, and one's at the edge of the map. Way the hell out there. So, yeah. Oh, whether this is this is the flower farm. Flower um, biome as well. So we can... We can make it right here a little bit closer, not too much, but uh, maybe I was ho I'm kind of hoping I can get the flower farm within range of the, uh, what's it called, AFK fish farm, so that we can just have all these farms kind of grouped together and going when I do an AFK session, so I don't have to do multiple locations in AFK there just to get a bunch of um, stuff. We can just do it all at once, continuously throughout the series. Um, it would just save me time, uh, because, well, I, I don't have a whole lot of time. Even though I do have a bit more time now, because I, I, I messed up my foot. I, I, <coughs> I think it was at work. I'm not 100% sure. Who? My throat's all dry from talking too much. I think that's just the world trying to tell me to shut up so that nobody has to listen to my voice. And there goes my controller. Holy crap. <laughs> One second. I'm all right. I'm back. Sorry about that. My controller died right as my throat just went completely dry. Oh, I got to keep something next to me to sip on when I'm talking this long. This is kind of dangerous. So where was I? Yes, yes, yes. Now, one other thing that I wanted to do, which is way off in this direction, is a big project that's going to take quite a bit of time to do. And that is an ocean monument. I need to convert that into um, a guardian farm so that we can have unlimited amounts of prismarine, and especially sea lanterns. Sea lanterns are absolutely gorgeous. They look a lot better than every other light source block. And I think that blue would kind of do nice and um, in contrast to a lot of builds in the Mesa. Just because it would give that vibrant kind of look. But it's way off um, in the distance. Um, well, not quite way off, but... It is, it's pretty far out there. It's right next to the, um, uh, not right next to, but close to the, what is it called? Our, um, the nether temple that we're building way over here, which I've gotten quite a bit of progress done on the stream. I've done a couple of streams with it, and, um, it's all done. I just don't know how to take the stories and continue on the pattern without making it too much um but we got our nether portal area set up on top you can see it coming into render distance right there so i don't know what else i'm going to do on the top to kind of contrast with what the nether portal is going to look like and each of these floors need to be look i want to have um detail besides just being this flat surface um not quite sure exactly how i'm going to do that i'm Mostly, I just free I just freestyle it as it's going, but I decided to go ahead and finish it off with the smooth sandstone, just to kind of have this outline of what it looks like. I want to continue this pattern, but I don't know um, how well it's gonna do with the water that has to go underneath here and the sand. We'd have to have an extra like two layers of blocks underneath. Um, which would just kind of cram the inside and not have so much space. But I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I got the inside. Um, we got ourselves a couple of little... Ooh, I didn't do this side yet, and I don't think I did this. I did this side. And um, things still spawn down here. And uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to fix that, but... We need to do something within this. I was talking with uh, one of my mods, um, Viz. Her uh, Visible H is her name. Um, I just call her Viz. And she 
we were talking about maybe having like some gold pyramids getting a couple of zombie pigment in here and kind of netherfying the inside just kind of get it real dark and dingy down here with some lava flow onto like a gold block pyramid um, not a hundred percent sure on that yet but it is a really good idea we had a horse another horse in here but uh, it almost died and then we ran we, we can find it and I thought that it was going to survive but apparently there's a bug where horses despawn which is probably what happened to poor poor Philip poor Philip uh, but that's what we're gonna be doing there we'll do that's just my strain project for right now and the tem the water ocean monument water temple ocean temple whatever you want to call it um, is right th right over here and I'm not 100% sure what I want to do it's gonna be a huge project to empty it then we have to make the farm and then we have to decorate the farm so it's going to be quite a large project but it's pretty open we might have to take this down a little bit to kind of get a nice wall around it um, that'll probably be yet another stream project after we get done with that and slowly but surely we'll get that done and have endless amounts of uh, prismarine stuff so we'll just slap this down here even though I never come over here because um, I'm afraid to go too close to it because then I'll be crap out of luck for breaking blocks because it gets you that mining fatigue I think and then a temple thingy Temple thingy. And I mean, I think that's where I'm going to end it today because we got ourselves all of our little projects. Well, so most of them aren't that little. They're going to take a long time to do, especially with my work schedule. But I think we're going to be able, we're, we're going to just grind them out and do them. Um, because there are a lot there's a lot of cool things to do and having the these little times where I just go around placing some signs down and get the creative juices flowing um, it really helps it really helps and I usually do it by myself but I decided to bring you guys into the loop and if there's anything you want to see or block combinations that you think would go good um, in any of these builds whether it be um, the Swampland Island thing that we're going to be doing. Oh, I need a boat, don't I? Yep, or else it's going to take forever to get back over there. Um, whether it be um, the the uh, Hidden Mesa Island that we're going to build, or the Hidden Waterfall Exit, however you want to look at it, or new house designs, tweet me if you have um, you know the color combinations, block combinations, um, anything like that just sh tweet them over throw them down in the comment section all that good stuff and um, I guess I will see you guys uh, no forward forward there we go there we go and I will see you guys in the next episode and the next episode we might dedicate to the new house or just the house removal and oh yeah 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 I can go backwards with this oh yeah oh yeah but I will catch you guys in the next video.